Hey, what's up guys? This is me, the ITK Chico, and today we're going to be taking a look at some hidden features uh, found in OS in Yosemite. We'll be taking a look at some tips and tricks as well. Now, if you guys are running the developer preview 6 or the GM, then there's no really need to download OS in Yosemite again and then doing the fresh install again. You can do that if you want, but essentially you are running the final version, so there's no need to you know, download the OS in Yosemite again from the App Store. However, if you are running Mavericks or maybe the Beta 4 or whatever, then go over to App Store and just download it from the App Store. It's free and it is brilliant. Now, let's take a quick look at our first feature, uh, the first hidden feature, and that is mirroring. So now you can mirror your device, uh, your iOS device screen to your Mac by just simply connecting it through the USB, opening up QuickTime Player, and starting a new movie recording. And as you guys can see, uh, it has actually detected my iPad, and it's actually mirroring that screen. So if your uh, QuickTime Player is actually showing the front-facing camera, all I have to do is then go over to the options and select your iPad from the camera. And as you guys can see now, uh, my device screen is basically mirrored onto my Mac and I can then simply record it as well. And as you guys can notice that the battery percent is 100% and there is no carrier on the top and the time is 9.41 a.m. So that's actually pretty cool from Apple. The second uh, feature I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be the ability to disable transparency so if you guys don't like the translucent ui i don't know why you would but if you guys don't then go to system preferences go to accessibilities and then and under display just check on reduce transparency as you guys can see it looks pretty opaque and really not that good at all doesn't look that margin uh, but again you do have the option to reduce it maybe if it's not working fine on an older mac or whatever then you do have the option now the second uh, feature we'll be talking about is going to be paginated folders. So by that I mean that now you can have uh, unlimited apps in a folder and uh, as you guys can see in one page you can have at least 35 apps and you can then also make uh, multiple pages as well. So as you guys can see I've got uh, the other page as well which is actually having the, uh, the photo booth app as you guys can see and then you can then add other apps as well. So that's just uh, like a simple tip right there. Third, let's talk about the widgets. As you guys can see, we have the third party widget support as well. So the notification center OS and OSMT has been completely revamped and it is just phenomenal. As you guys can see, I'm running Yahoo Sports and Wonderlist uh, uh, third party widgets on my notification center. As you guys can see, under the Yahoo Sports, I'm able to know all the upcoming fixture, fixtures. So as you guys can see, City is playing Spurs tomorrow, uh, Arsenal is playing Hull City. So I can see all the fixtures right there. And if the and I can also get these scores as well. So it's really neat. Now next we'll talk about batch renaming. So now in OS in Yosemite, if you guys have more than like one uh, uh, you know, picture, maybe or any document, you want to rename all of them, all I have to do is select all the project, all those files, and then tap uh, rename. And as you guys can see, I've got the option of basically having a name and counter or name or date. So basically I can write a name before and it's going to go ahead and put like a number uh, at the front. So I can say for example instead of screenshots I can write projects. So uh, the project and over here I can say that after every name there will be a number and it's going to start from 1. So as you can see project 1, project 2, project 3, project 4. So all of them have been renamed. So it's really nice for those who are few who are content creators like me and you guys want to have like you guys have multiple videos or maybe pictures so you can simply rename them next we have the ability to show the full url as well so in yosemite uh, in safari basically you don't actually in by default uh, you're not able to see the full url but if you go to safari preferences and under advanced you guys have the option of enabling show full website address so now you will be able to see the full website URL. Just a simple little uh, like a tip right there. Next we have the ability to airdrop uh, across uh, Mac and an iPhone as well or an iPad. So it's no longer Mac to Mac or, or iOS to iOS. As you guys can see I just dragged and dropped um, a picture from my Mac over to the airdrop window and as you guys can see just opened up that similar photo on my Mac as well as you guys can see. Oh, sorry on my iPad so it's pretty simple it works great 
and it takes less than a few seconds to do so. The last feature we'll be talking about is going to be the markup options. Now you are able to edit the photo as well before sending it in, in an email. So as you guys can see, we have the option of you know just you know, making arrows or you can have you can like put some boxes as well, like text boxes as well, to just kind of emphasize on a particular subject or any particular thing on a on an image. Uh, but also one of the favorite things of mine is going to be the signatures. So you can actually have you can actually add signatures as well. So you go to create signature, then you can use a trackpad to basically just jot down a signature. So I just showed Tim Cook. You can also use your FaceTime camera. It's going to go ahead and scan that uh, signature as well. And then as you guys can see, you can enlarge that signature and you can like align it on your document. It's pretty good. So guys, these are some of the uh, tips and tricks and hidden features of OS in Yosemite. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then definitely make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys want to take a quick look at uh, like an in-depth look at all the OS in Yosemite features, go ahead and check out my last video. Thank you very much for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out.